Love means never having to say you're sorry. So someone may have been in love with someone that they thought they were going to spend the rest of their life with. Um, there could have been a third party situation, okay? Um, someone's not crying though, or someone's not sad about it. Um, there could be some conversation going on. Someone may be expressing how they feel with love means never having to say you're sorry. So, um, I mean, I don't want to say that someone could be in love with two people, but someone could have love feelings for another person or like a third party situation. Too many cooks spoil the gravy. So yeah, it's kind of obvious that there's, there's, um, <clears throat> a triangle situation going on. Um, adults in the reverse. Uh, I said yes, which turned out to be the right answer in the reverse. A thing of beauty is a joy that lasts forever in the reverse. And short in the reverse, fire all these in reversals. Oh my god. Okay. So maybe this is a karmic situation where people need to learn a lesson. Or this is, once again, could be past energy. Um, but, you know, somebody could have been acting childish or immature. Um, they should have maybe said no to something and they didn't. Um, or they said yes to forever with somebody and it turned out, um, you know, maybe it wasn't the right answer. Uh, someone may be rethinking a commitment with another adult. Someone could feel like they're coming up short. So someone may have, um, confidence issues. Like maybe they don't feel like they can live up to someone's standards. Like if this is a third party... Uh, maybe someone feels like someone could be out of their league or they don't match up with the standards or something is coming up short. If there's too many cooks in the kitchen, someone may be getting shortchanged, obviously. If someone's, you know, sharing their attentions or affections elsewhere, um, someone may be feeling like they're getting shortchanged, someone that they were committed to. Alright, not getting anything else. <clears throat> Yeah, this reading's full of reversals. <laughs> reverse, reverse. Health issues could arise. That came out sideways. So that came out, um, you know, that could be now near future energy. So maybe somebody was in a marriage and somebody was suffering for some from some health issues. Maybe they haven't been having sex with their partner. Maybe somebody went outside this relationship and ended up hooking up with a third party. Um, you know, I get the feeling that it's not that they don't love this person, but there's some sort of health issues that could have arisen um, that made it difficult for intimacy. So something may have been lacking in a situation. So there may have been, you know, something that was supposed to be just sex or a sexual connection initially, but it could have maybe turned deeper. So somebody may have felt like they were getting shortchanged, like in the intimacy department or the sexual department. Um, of a relationship or marriage situation. Look at how it resonates. I'll give these one more shuffle. If nothing else comes out, I'll just move on. Alright, I'm not getting anything else. On that. Let's check these out. see if we can't find out some more information about this but it, it seems like someone could be in bad health and someone can't heal from something heals in the reverse so something can't be healed so maybe this is a terminal illness or just a health illness or issue um, that affects somebody's ability to be intimate um, it could also be that somebody may not be able to heal the fact that they were involved in a third party because of what they've done, especially if the other person, like if their spouse or partner finds out about this, it may be difficult or hard to heal. Something can't be healed or was not able to be healed. There's something significant about a family here. So maybe somebody can't heal something within a family. This could be, you know, a situation where they're going to stay together, where they've agreed to be together, you know, in sickness and in health. So someone may be trying to take care of a sick spouse or something like that. <clears throat> but they're concerned about a family. They're trying to keep their family together. Somebody can't heal the fact that someone lost power. Virgo could be significant. So maybe someone lost the... Um, you know, like their sexual power or, you know, they can't get something back. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of health issues that can affect 
um, you know, your libido, something like that, and it could be man or woman, um, men and women both have issues with this, but maybe somebody felt like they were powerless because they couldn't heal something within their family, so they could have decided to, you know, involve a third party situation to, um, I, I'm getting like fill in the blanks, like I hate to say it like that, but that's like the energy I'm getting is, you know, filling in the blank. Like, filling in a missing space or a void. There was definitely a connection here. Two of Cups in the reverse. And there's justice and some sort of swift action. So there was some sort of swift action that was taken by somebody who was in a partnership. To make some sort of maybe communication. So there was some sort of communication that happened rather quickly. And there's some sort of justice that needs to be balanced out here. Someone may be feeling lonely or lacking. It looks like there's going to be a positive outcome of some sort of justice that's going to be balanced out. Uh, yeah, someone, someone's under judgment for some sort of action they took regarding some sort of communication or action they took <clears throat> while they were while they were partnered up with somebody else. Someone has the strength and courage and perseverance. You know, someone's not crying about this, so someone's not sad about it. I don't, I don't want to say that the third party may have known that there, this person was married, but it's possible. So this person could have been married or in a serious commitment relationship. Um, this is an emperor in the reverse, so this is a masculine energy <clears throat> who was weak. Um, they kind of fell for the low-hanging fruit. They were tempted. So this could have been somebody who was tempted um, to take some sort of action or communicate with somebody. And... Um, you know, I'm just strongly getting a sexual way. Like, I feel like a lot of this is about sex. So there was an ending to something. A death. So somebody being weak and taking some sort of action caused an ending to something. It could also be that somebody um, was weak because someone is getting ready to pass away. Like I said, there's some sort of health issue that's going on, whether it's with them or their spouse. And they're struggling. Someone's struggling with intimacy issues. Uh, a treasure. A death to a treasure. So someone could have valued their spouse or whoever they're with. They could have seen them as a treasure. But somebody could have gotten the news that someone's going to pass away. There's a big tower moment regarding an empress here. So this could be um, a tower moment with a third party here. Or somebody um after someone passes away after a spouse passes away a feminine energy could be passing away um this could also be a tower moment with their um current person their spouse their significant other their partner someone may have been hiding their true inner personality events are out of everyone's control um this tower moment may work out in the favor of an empress some, some, oh shit, someone's being laid to rest, something's being laid to rest, friend, family member, relative, oh shit, man. Okay, so there's going to be a tower moment here because there could be, there could be a funeral coming up. Someone really could be getting ready to pass away. It, this could be, and I'm not condoning, I'm not excusing anything, I'm not taking sides, don't chew me up in the comments, I'm just reading the energy, I'm just reading the cards, but somebody could have felt like they lost a treasure with their spouse, maybe they're a widower, okay, so maybe towards the end of this person's life, um, if this is a masculine um, that was married, maybe the wife had health issues or something, and so maybe the masculine was stepping outside um, to fulfill the void that they felt like was missing, that hole, um, you know, filling in the blank space. But there's a tower moment involving this mother, lover, wife figure, and someone being laid to rest, or something being laid to rest. And I'm getting that with the death card. It could be, it could be an actual death. Somebody, somebody could have lost their legacy, lost a treasure. Um, this can also be, if it's not an actual death, it could be the death or an ending to a relationship. Somebody could have lost um, what they were building. They could have lost a treasure if this was their spouse. Um, if they maybe recovered or um, this person could feel guilty possibly for, um, you know, cheating on this person. Even though they have health issues, they may still feel guilty about it. But with the strength in the reverse, they 
you know, they didn't feel guilty enough to not do it. So, I mean, it is what it is. So there is someone here who is held in high honor. So even if you are a divine femme, um, whatever situation, however you play into this, there was a group here that was scrambling to do something and they did not have a positive outcome. So there could have been a feminine energy who is dealing something from a group of people, um, someone causing conflict for this person. And um, they were experiencing bad luck. So there's some bad luck coming for a group of people um, possibly a family or a community for scrambling, working together to do something quickly to someone who was held in high honor. <clears throat> you know, you can say what you want. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to read the energy, how I read it. Someone here is held in high honor. And I feel like this could be a divine femme who was actually the, the third party and not the spouse who was, <clears throat> going to pass away but it can also be um you know the other way around because there was a, but there was a ten of swords so there was an ending here um so like a divine femme here which could be the person that this masculine was seeing their divine counterpart here um and you know it is what it is man i, I don't know just, you can have your opinions about it like i said i'm just reading the cards you may not like what they say. I, I don't say I'm liking what they say. I'm just saying that, saying what it's saying. So there is an ending, a permanent ending. So this masculine could have been trying to help this divine femme here. Um, they could have been going through a lot of conflict. Um, there were a lot of people trying to um, cause this person bad luck, cause them harm. We have some sort of communication that's going to be coming in to someone who was held in high honor here. The Knight of Wands. And then we have the King of Swords. So um, we also have somebody who may not have been 100% honest about a situation or somebody who is very cold hearted. So even though we have a Divine Femme here, we have a masculine in the reverse who may have been cold hearted, um, you know, could be an energy vampire. Um, they could have been trying to hide that they were part of a group or family that was working against this Divine Femme. Um, but they had ulterior motives in what they were doing with this Divine Femme. So whether this Divine Femme knew this person was in a relationship or married or something like that, they could have lied um, to get that void filled. You know what I'm saying? So they may not have been 100% honest. They may not have even told this Divine Femme that they were married or that their um, spouse was suffering from some sort of health issues or that they were going to pass away. They may have even lied about working with a group of people who was you know, being a pain in the ass for this divine femme. But somehow there's a connection here to this masculine and the group of people and a divine femme. And someone was spending some time in hermit mode. So this could have been a, the divine femme who was spending some time in hermit mode. It also could have been a masculine who lied about being alone or spending time alone. Uh, maybe they weren't as alone as they um, said they were. Um, we have someone here who's, effect, you know, we have a group of people here who's trying to affect someone's peace to disrupt them, cause them pain, be a pain in their ass. Um, and this is a hierophant, okay? So not only is this person held in high honor, they're protecting their peace, they are protected, but they're a hierophant. They're an official person here. They could be a, a very spiritual person. Something was stopped, okay? So there's some sort of juggling here that's going to be put to a stop. So if this is a masculine who had two feminines that they were juggling, something is going to be put to a stop. <clears throat> Whether this is the um, the masculine's um, spouse finding out about it, their partner, or whether someone's going to pass away. Uh, but the juggling is going to come to an end. The lives are going to come to an end. Okay, so there was a risky commitment, a karmic love situation, and some sort of message or communication with the Page of Wands. So there was a message um, regarding a karmic situation, uh, putting a stop. So someone could have decided to put a stop to this. It could have been the Divine Femme who put a stop to this after finding out about something. Or maybe they just had a bad feeling. There's Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away. So there's someone here who's walking away, maybe after they find out they were lied to. Someone could have lied and said that they were a widower. They could have said that their spouse already died and this person could still be alive and kicking. So 
Um, you know, I, uh, this looks like a tricky situation. Secrets being exposed. So something being exposed, what was done in darkness being brought to light. So there's something being exposed regarding a secret and a missing key piece of information. <clears throat> So someone is going to get enlightened to a big, important piece of information here. Um, it could also be information about a partnership that somebody has with possibly a divine counterpart, whether this was with the divine femme or with their spouse, possibly that they lied about. There's there's going to be a period of enlightenment here with the Ace of Wands. Someone is, someone's third eye could be awakening, uh, possibly about a partnership that they want to have with a divine counterpart. Maybe they thought they were going to love their spouse forever, be there with them, um, but they could have lied and been dishonest and hooked up with somebody else because there was some sort of soul connection. Um, could be a twin flame connection. A lot of times those are karmic, so you have to be careful of those. Just because you connect with someone doesn't always mean that it's um, a good lesson you're going to have to learn. You know what I mean? But someone is going to find out about a partnership here. So this could be the spouse finding out and the masculine cutting it off with the divine femme as well. Because someone here is held in high honor and someone's going to be pissed off. So there's someone here who's pissed off about a communication that was going on, some sort of communication exchange. Um, someone is pissed about the admiration that someone has for another person. There's financial balance that needs to be restored in a situation. And someone's not getting a clean slate and they're not moving on to calmer water. So some sort of communication or information that someone found out about or received. Um, they're not getting the clean slate or start that they thought they were going to get. They're not moving on to calmer waters. It looks like there was um, a rocky situation <laughs> and someone was pissed off about the admiration or, you know, that page of cups, the message of love that someone had sent to someone. So it could have been some sort of communication about lovey feelings, sex feelings, um, and something being laid to rest. <clears throat> So there's going to be a financial balance that needs to be restored when someone lays to, gets laid to rest or a situation gets laid to rest. And this could be the person, if someone is in bad health, if this is the masculine spouse or something, um, you know, something could be balanced out when somebody passes away because someone wants to be compassionate. So if this is an issue where a spouse has a terminal illness, um, <clears throat> this may be an issue of where there was a karmic situation or was initially a karmic situation that could turn into a love partnership because we have balance being restored and somebody wanting to be compassionate to another person. So, um, yeah, there's a divine femme here that was going through a lot of trouble. Maybe they need financial balance being restored and this person was being compassionate to them. Uh, but someone here is experiencing some bad luck. So someone here is now moving on to calmer water. Someone had some bad luck. They don't get this new start, this new beginning. And I hate to say it, like it could be, it could be the the partner of the the King of Swords here, because there is a love offer in a crossroads, a decision that someone's going to make. <clears throat> someone feels like someone was a thief. But someone else is heavily burdened here, so this could be the divine femme that's heavily burdened, and there could be a masculine that wants to give him that you know his wand or give him a gift. There's some sort of information that's being brought out about someone's heavy burdens, their strength, their courage, their perseverance. But we have someone here who wants to make a love offer, so maybe there was a secret affair, something going on. Um, and if this is a terminal illness with somebody, um, it could go from like a, a casual thing or a side thing to like a legit love offer. And once again, I'm not making excuses here. I'm just reading the cards. So I'm not condoning or not condoning anything. And you can get pissed about me not speaking on it one way or another. And that's your problem. I don't care. I'm just the card reader, man. I just read the cards. <clears throat> So we have a gathering here. There could be people talking um, because there was some sort of theft. So someone could be trying to say that someone stole something from the Queen of Swords here. So this could be, you know, like I said, the wife of the King of Swords here. 
Um, we have someone here who, um, you know, there could be talk about someone's financial stability and the barriers and someone rushing in with some sort of truth. And then we have this empress and the reverse and a home. So an empress could have gotten kicked out of a home, could have been, you know, homeless, left out on the streets. So this masculine could have been helping this person. There was a lot of talk about the financial stability or instability that somebody had. So there could have been um, an empress energy who was dealing with a lot of conflict, bad things. Um, this could also be a queen of swords. This could also be a wife that um, got kicked out of a house. Okay, so uh, I, I gotta say this because I'm seeing it another way too. This could be a masculine who kicked their, you know, like who ends up getting divorced or separated from their spouse. And um, there's an empress here that's leaving the house. So a masculine could have, if it's not the divine fem, that's the third, you know, wheel here. Um, and you can say that divine fem are the third wheel, not the third wheel. I know they don't typically deal with third party situations, but this seems like a very different, weird situation. Um, and like I said, I'm not judging shit. Like it's not my business here, but, um, yeah, this one's a little hard to read. Um, but it could be a masculine who decided to, um, choose a karmic relationship, okay? If this is a karmic feminine and, you know, like where you learn your lessons, um, you know, this, this is a tricky situation ship here. <clears throat> so something ended with an empress and a lack of a home and someone's in despair. So someone could be in despair that someone moved in with someone. So once again, this could be like a situation where there's a feminine energy who moves in with a, a, a married couple. Um, so that could be a challenge. Someone may not be happy about a situation because there's going to be an offer that someone has been waiting for that's going to put an end to something. And I feel like this is an ending to this empress being homeless or out on the streets. And this person, is, someone's a high priestess here. And then we have the king of wands. So, you know, I feel like the King of Swords and the King of Wands could be the same person. <clears throat> you know, I recently did a reading where there was a situation where there were, you know, like um, three people living together. So maybe this wife isn't necessarily going to be mad about it, but maybe someone else would be. Um, but these three may live under the same roof or at some point they're going to. Oh, wait, I already did these, but we have a queen of swords and a barrier. So there was something stopping something from happening with the queen of swords, um, a lack of options. So maybe it is the queen of swords that has a health issue and it's like, maybe they didn't have any options except to accept what was about to happen. Uh, because there is a new start, a new beginning here. With the Ace of Pentacles. So it could have been that the Queen of Swords really didn't have many options. There were barriers placed in this person's path. And there's a cycle here that's going to end. A cycle of injustice. So it could be a cycle of being sneaky or stealthy or thieving. Um, maybe they all end up working together. But there's something here. There's a, there's a barrier here regarding options for a Queen of Swords, which would be the King of Swords' spouse. And it could also be that the King of Swords slash King of Wands, um, you know, ends that relationship with the third person because there is a cycle of injustice ending, whether it's, you know, all parties agree on something or a situation or... <clears throat> one party gets left behind but there's an ending to a cycle of injustice and a lack of options because mm, we have the queen of cups here who's the star and there was a permanent ending to something ten of swords so there was a permanent ending to an injustice and we have a queen of cups here which would be the divine femme energy who happens to be a star and there was a permanent ending to something. <clears throat> and the challenge is if someone is in despair that someone can't be bothered or is unbothered. So even though someone's trying to betray someone, like if this is the divine femme who, you know, there was a group of people trying to betray this person. If this masculine and his wife, if, you know, this married couple helps this person out, it could have someone in despair. 
because it could work out where all three of them have some sort of agreement or situation. I don't know. Like maybe they have an open relationship or something. I don't want to automatically assume that this third party is like, I mean, but it said I never, you know, it said I cheated on you. So in the very beginning, so maybe somebody cheated or maybe someone didn't cheat and someone thought that another person did. But there wasn't, um, a che I mean, it's possible there isn't an actual cheating situation. It could be some sort of open arrangement or agreement. So there is an ending here with some sort of communication and an injustice. So there's going to be a message that's going to put an end to something, um, an imbalance here to someone. And it could be, like I said, this married couple who's going to help balance something out with the Queen of Cups, a star. So, I mean, I don't want to say necessarily that this king of wands, um, you know, and their player energy was necessarily sneaking around on their person. They may have actually known about it. Somebody was injured, though. <clears throat> so there was some sort of painful communication about an injustice and an, a permanent ending. And it could be the fact that somebody got hurt. There's a big tower moment here. Big tower moment. Big, big tower moment. It could even be for these this group of people who were trying to attack this Divine Femme. But there's something being balanced out regarding the injuries that someone sustained here. Ooh, well. And it could also be the spouse that they had happy memories with or fond memories with that's upset too. So, you know, for some cases... It's possible that they knew about the third party, and for some, maybe not. There's someone who's hurt, reminiscing, thinking about something. It could also be the fact that someone has to face the reality that they're losing their spouse. So it's like they're trying to possibly entertain another person, and it's almost like they could be trying to move on while this person's still alive, but they have all these memories, and they're, like, painful. There's painful memories here. There's something significant about painful memories. <clears throat> and if this is a widower situation where, you know, there is a spouse that passed away due to health issues, um, you know, this person could go through an extensive grieving period thinking about their spouse. I mean, they, they thought that they were going to be with them forever. They thought they were going to love them forever. So this news may have come unexpectedly or someone may have unexpectedly passed away. And, um, you know, it's really hard for this person and maybe they needed comforting um, or something like that. And if it's not a situation where they all three live together, um, this third party situation may have come like quickly in. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a situation where, yeah, someone was in a two of cups situation, and then there's a lover situation here, a karmic situation. So it's like somebody could have been cheating on their spouse, possibly towards the end of their life. Maybe they never expected to do this, but maybe they were, like I said, lacking something sexually. So they could have been dealing with the, the queen of cups here, a star. There's a big tower moment that's going to hit because there was a permanent ending here. The Ten of Swords, there's an ending and someone has painful memories with someone that they were in a connection with, in a relationship with. So this is the ending of someone's relationship or possibly someone passing away and someone having painful memories about them. And they were leaning on the Divine Femme, which would be a risky commitment, a risky situation where maybe not everyone's going to agree with this, especially family um, <clears throat> of this person. If... They moved on quickly after the passing of a spouse. Um, there may be people who are not happy about this at all. And it could also be someone is upset about the Hierophant here because this could be painful for somebody else to see... Somebody else could be having painful memories about this Divine Femme as well. Somebody that they were possibly connected to. Because we have an Emperor here that's getting a clean slate, a new beginning, and that's in motion. It's moving and something is growing and, and going in abundance. So this may be someone who 
<clears throat> and it could be a family member of this emperor, but th this w this is what I see. I see s someone's spouse passing away and them moving on with this risky commitment. And this emperor wants a new start, a new beginning with this divine femme, this queen of cups here. And something is going to grow, it's going to manifest, there's going to be abundance here when this happens. But there's someone who's going to have some painful memories about this official person. So somebody that the Divine Femme was in a relationship with, this is going to bother them somehow. This could be someone's family member. Um, so, I mean, I have to say that it could be a family member or a close friend, like a best friend kind of thing. Um, so there's something that's going to be painful for someone else. Like if your ex is friends with this person or knows this person, um, it could be painful for them to see you moving on with this person if they're connected to this married couple in some sort of way. Like they could have been part of the same friends group or, you know, relatives, something like that. <clears throat> Okay, so someone here is a religious figure, and they hired someone to spy. We had some crooked judges involved in this situation. A bold spot is hard to cover up. Watch your spending and the reverse. You're holding yourself back. So th this could be the people who was um, attacking the Divine Femme energy. Someone needed to heal their childhood wounds. So this could be the person who is having painful memories about the Divine Femme moving on, moving forward in this situation. Something significant is going to be happening in the next one to three months. Someone intentionally caused an injustice, and you will miraculously recover. There is a soulmate connection here, and they lost their spiritual gift, and someone needs to speak the truth. So there, there is some sort of truth that needs to be spoken. They moved on, it's over. So this could be someone who is not happy about this Queen of Cups moving on with this Emperor. And it could also be the other way around, because someone was being two-faced. They were being two-faced. Um, my wife and I are very happy and someone is embarrassed or ashamed. So, you know, and I thought this was high school. I, I'm, you're driving me crazy. I can't stop thinking about you suffering in silence. So this is somebody who, you know, there is somebody, this emperor could have been in a marriage and they could be embarrassed or ashamed if it gets leaked out that they were having an affair on their wife before they passed away because there wasn't sex going on. Um, but this Divine Femme could have somebody that's having, um, you know, feelings about the situation as well, where they're not happy about this connection, but they, they need to move on. It's over. It could also be this Emperor who's trying to move on with their life, possibly with a new spouse. Um, but they could be, they could be ashamed or embarrassed about something that they did that may have been childish or immature. Like they didn't wait for this person to you know, pass away before they started this, um, affair. Um, and they were suffering in silence because they were being driven crazy. Like their sexual urges overtook them. And, um, yeah, there's a soulmate connection here, um, between at least a couple of these people. So somebody could be embarrassed that they hooked up. Like this emperor could be embarrassed that they hooked up with this divine femme. Like there could have been a soul connection there. <clears throat> Um, the Hierophant could be a religious person. So if this Divine Femme is, you know, a high priestess energy, um, the star, uh, maybe their ex was like a religious person, okay, or a religious figure, and they could have lost their spiritual gifts, and they could be having painful memories um, about this Divine Femme and seeing them move on with this other person. So there's a lot of emotions in this. Someone's spellwork backfired. And so it could be that the King of Wands necessarily wasn't the same as the King of Swords. It could be that the King of Wands was the Divine Femmes ex, okay? So let's keep that in mind. Um, that, you know, there is a married couple, but then you have the Divine Femme, and then you have the King of Wands. So, you know, maybe the King of Wands 
um, you know, when they were with the Queen of Cups, they could have cheated on them. There could have been a separation. So there could have been a divorce that could have been, you know, the Queen of Cups is X. You know, however it resonates for you, there's, this is a collective read. So there's a lot of scenarios and situations I'm seeing as I'm reading this. So if it, if it sounds like it's jumping all over, it's because some people are going through different parts of this different ways. And I'm trying to read it always possible. So I'm hoping that you're still able to follow. Fire sign Aries Leo Sag could be significant here. You know, with these collective reads, the energy can be all over the place sometimes because many people are going through many different circumstances that are similar but not exact. So there's many different ways of looking at this. Um, so there's something significant about the winter time and life's a bitch. Good things come to those who wait. Q, R, S, or T could be significant. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and May. So there could be something significant um, that happened in the winter time. Something, you know, could have started up in the winter time. Um, and life's been hard for somebody. And someone's been patiently waiting for things to get better. And something may be getting better by May. So sometime between winter and May, things may start improving um, for someone here with a fire sign and a water sign. Life has been a struggle for someone here, and it could be both of these people for different reasons, but I feel like there may be a divine union or, you know, there's obviously some sort of soul connection here or soul tie, but there was not an equal give and take in something, and so someone thought something was all fun and games, so, you know, someone felt like there was an imbalance and they thought something was funny. Um, someone is holding a secret, hold your tongue. So someone, someone needs to hold their tongue and keep their mouth shut or someone is holding back something, possibly that they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Somebody was crying. Oh, geez. <clears throat> somebody could have kicked the bucket, um, crying. So somebody could have been crying, finding out that somebody was going to kick the bucket and they thought something was all fun and games because there was not an equal give and take which once again supports my theory that someone has a spouse that's going to pass away from a health related issue and they ended up in hot water um but luck is you know luck of the irish man um the luck of the irish is on the side of someone who may be stuck between a rock and a hard place so even though it looks like this is a bad situation it does look like there could be a happy ending for a divine feminine divine masculine but um it's a very risky situation, a very risky commitment, and, um, you know, initially it started off as something that was just meant to fill the void, the void, and I feel like this King of Swords wasn't even upfront and honest with the Queen of Cups at first. <clears throat> the Queen of Cups may not have even known that the Queen of Swords was going to pass away, if it's the Queen of Swords that's going to pass away. Um, you know, uh, it could also be... Well, I feel like the King of Wands is is the one that's all up in their feelings and emotions. Um, really about uh, the Divine Femme moving on with the King of Swords after all this goes down. I mean, everyone has free will and everyone has choices, but I feel like there's this situation where there's going to be an affair that leads to something long-term, long-lasting. And people may not agree with it, people may not like it, um... You know, someone's going to have some a bitter taste left in their mouth because of this. There is a third party situation, and Tuesday is significant. Um, October could be significant. Someone's scared stiff, possibly because of some sort of action they took in October. Somebody was being shady as fuck. So they could have started lying in October. <clears throat> they may have known something since October, and they may not have been being honest. But there is a happy outcome for someone here. So someone could be scared that someone else is going to be happy. Something could be happening quick as lightning. So something could be happening rather quickly or quicker than people thought it was going to. There's something significant about Friday and Saturday. There's some sort of boundaries that's going to be set or crossed, withdraw the line. So there's something that could be happening even, you know, this coming weekend or on a weekend. <clears throat> excuse me, in the near future, some with someone who's older, so there could be an age difference as well, so there's some sort of boundaries that were set or crossed by somebody who is older, um, someone was shady, and they really thought something was as easy as one, two, three, or easier said than done, um, someone who's older and wiser could be a wolf at the door, 
This could also be um, the an ex who is a wolf at the door, like the Divine Femmes ex. Someone could be older. Someone could still be trying to cause someone trouble here. Um, but you're never looking back for, from this. So the Divine Femmes ex could be um, still causing problems for them, especially, or her, um, with all this conflict that they were trying to put on this Divine Femme on all these heavy burdens. And someone else was heavy, bur heavily burdened too, and it could be the Emperor, so the Emperor could have been heavily burdened. There's a lot of burdens, there's a lot of emotions. Um, this is a very delicate situation for somebody. But someone has high hopes, and someone's not looking back because someone was not one in a million. So this could be the Divine Femme that's, you know, not looking back from their ex. And they're ready to move on. They're not ready, to, you know, they're not willing to sit around and wait for someone to grow up and act right. They're moving on. And they could be moving on with a widower. And this is going to cause some problems. Some March could be significant. Someone has the wisdom of the ages. So someone's birthday could be in March. Against all odds, something is going to happen. Um, so some si significant event could happen in March. Or someone's birthday could be in March. <clears throat> Same with October. Scorpio could be significant here. Karma's a bitch. They were barking up the wrong tree. Someone's starting to see things your way, though. Seeing eye to eye and going forward. And then we have another Scorpio that was just jealous. Green-eyed monster that was just yanking your chain. They wouldn't leave you alone. November could be significant. This person was your opposite. This person could have been cheating on you or cheated on you with a lot of people. A fine kettle of fish. So, you know, you could have been cheated on. This person can't come back to you they don't have an opportunity something was as dead as a doornail they could be getting the kiss of death too there could be something significant about the springtime about that so um you know and if you are a twin flame okay i i have to say this if this is a twin flame connection between a divine fem feminine divine masculine you both could be mirroring each other so i gotta say this your ex the divine femmes mac um ex could be passing away and the Divine Masculine's significant other, if they're married, they could be passing away. You could both be kind of mirroring the same experiences where you're both going to lose somebody, you know, maybe not exact circumstances, but the event itself could be, you know, mirroring each other where you're both going to have someone that was connected to you pass away. Maybe not identical or exact because obviously the Divine Femme here, the Queen of Cups, is not still with the King of Wands. Um, but the king of swords and the queen of swords were married and together so they could both have someone who's ultimately going to pass away <clears throat> oh could be significant person place or thing t D, Dot could be significant. Dottie, someone's name could be Dottie. Or someone's nickname could be Dot, or someone goes by the name Dot. S, polka dots could be significant. Maybe someone likes to wear polka dots and has a, I'm seeing a polka dotted dress. Kind of like, like a 1950s kind of dress. I don't know how that's significant, but that's kind of what I was seeing. D, double D, someone could <laughs> I know that ain't for me, y'all. <laughs> <L. laughs> um, but someone could have, um, you know, uh, wear a size double D bra, and they could have a polka dotted dress. That could be significant. Um, I. K. P. H G I'll do one more and U okay so like D O T S D L I K P H G U I hope this helps have a good day